Hi there, welcome to another tutorial for GeoLayers 2. My name is Marcus and today I'm going to talk about label templates. In GeoLayers 2 you can turn pretty much every composition into a label template. This allows you to do like, yeah, pretty complex animated labels, like the ones I've got here. And we're going to have a look at what is possible and how to set things up. First, you know that in this drop-down you can find all the label templates that the project has. But where are those comms actually? You find the comms inside the GLIS2 items folder in the label templates folder. So you see that those compositions in here are the ones that you can find in the drop-down. So each composition that is in there will be a label template. Let's try this. I'm gonna create a composition. I'm gonna make it brown. And by dragging it into the label templates field, I can select it in this dropdown and use it. This way you can, for example, easily create like labels from symbols and stuff and um, pretty quickly use them and speed up your workflow. But let me show you the cool stuff. So first I'm going to rename this and call it my label. But of course we might want to have some text inside here. So I'm going to open this composition. First thing I'm going to make this like... Extend the width a bit. I'm going to scale this down. And I'm going to add some text. This is going to be my feature name. Make this a little larger and place it like there. So this is actually already a working label. So I can select the feature, label it, and you see that it's working. So what GeoLayers does, it looks inside this comp and it finds this text layer and replaces the content. If you would lock it, it would not look into this text layer. So for example, we could Add an X here to the point, and if you lock it, it would not replace this. Now let's add a strap for the background. I'm gonna add a white solid here. Gonna put this down there. I'm gonna adapt the size a bit. There's a pretty pretty cool trick for automatically adapting the length of the strap. So I'm going to duplicate my text field here. I'm going to add an effect that's called Minimax. So this one's pretty cool. You're going to set the channel to alpha in color or just alpha, it doesn't, doesn't matter. And you can now extend the layers width. And you can say, all right, I just want this to be vertical and give in a pretty high radius. Duplicate it, tell it to be just horizontal, and adjust the offset. And what you do with this layer, you just use it as an alpha mat for your strap. So when I go back to my map, I select a label, and I swap the label template to my current my label. And you see that a strap is there, the X is not touched. So I could also label Sweden with it, and it works. Now, the layout here doesn't really make sense concerning like where everything sits in the comp. So I'm gonna take all of this and move it like there. By default, GeoLayers will connect the center of the composition to the map. But you can adapt this by calling a layer label anchor point. I'm going to parent the X to this and lock it again. GLAs will now move the anchor point of the label layer to the position of this layer inside the comp. What you can also do is take the text from a certain property. So I know I got a lot of like names here, but I know that there is a property population inside this place. So you can actually read that field. I'm going to duplicate this text layer here, move it down there, I'm going to 
move everything up a little. This is going to be my population. I'm going to decrease the size a little and make it caps. And to do this, you just adapt the name of the layer. And where you want to bring that property in, just write it in curly brackets. So I'm going to write population here in curly brackets. And this is going to work. So it's going to take the word population and insert the value that it finds right here. So I'm going to select the United States label and I'm going to swap it again. And there we go. There's the population and the value. You have some additional settings to the labels in the preferences window. So there's a labels tab here and you can tell each label to switch on collapse transformation for labels. You would not do this afterwards manually because if you have a look at the 3D point here, latitude, longitude, height, if you do this, you actually change the dimensions or the bounding box of this layer and you see that these values are changing. And you can tell it to make labels 3D layers. You can um, set up a custom template project. So this is actually an After Effects project that will be loaded by default. And you can um, set up the amount of frames that GeoLayers will jump in time after creation of one label. Because I'd like to show you one more thing. I'm going to leave a little space in between both of those. I'm going to add a solid here and add a beam effect to it. I'm going to change the color here and make it sharp. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an expression on the starting point. I'm going to take the anchor point layer's position. So just pick whip this property. I'm going to adapt the length to 100% and I'm going to change this one like that. And I'm going to put my layer under those, adapt this a little. I'm going to remove the X now, don't like it pretty much. I will also switch this off so we have this nice little pointer here. And what we can do with this now is also pretty cool. So let's go back to my map here. I'm going to remove the labels we already had. And I'm going to label Sweden with my updated composition here. So I'm going to do this. And as you see, I got this nice little pointer. And what you can now do is change the label's anchor point, And this will adapt the pointer. This is done because GeoLayers will take the anchor point value from this layer here and um, it actually put an expression on the position of the label anchor point layer here. So it will always sync those. To keep this running you should not change the name of the layer here or the name of the containing map comp because referencing will then break. All of the actual um, label comps that are not templates you find in the labels folder in your glayers 2 items directory. Of course everything inside this composition can also be animated. So possibilities are endless. And today you learned how to set up label templates, how to create straps that automatically adapt its length, how to create dynamic pointers and how to add certain properties as content to your labels. That's it, I'm out, bye!